September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will with uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 4110. Greetings, fellow expeditioners. Akuaku220 here. I hope your Sunday is going well. I hope you all went to church, because if not, ooh, you're in for some unholy endeavors. This is indeed faith. Then, thanks to a fan, I actually did get a hold of both chapter 1 and 2. So, we're going to be going through both of them, as I've heard that Faith Chapter 1 is not that long. Chapter 2, however, is a slightly different beast altogether. Regardless, I have only made sure that this game was actually working, so just to be safe. Move, use the WASD keys, or the left analog stick or D-pad to move. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living, Psalms 116.9. Face demons and cast them out with a space key or a button. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. James 4 7. That seems straightforward. So, ready or not, here we go. I've seen a lot of people play this here and there. But it's been a while since I've actually watched anyone play it. Still, it is supposed to invoke some form of terror, and normally... What you... What? Oh, okay. Well, as I was saying. So, I'm not usually into horror stuff. I mean, usually because it's like, the genre is kind of repetitive to me. Also, I don't know if the flickering is actually meant to be the game, or it's just something buggy with this... But so, here we are. Today I notice Amy's favorite tree- Oh, hang on, let me try something different. Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off it and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She's totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about but I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at the book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. I don't know what him is, but I'm fairly certain I'm going to be encountering a whole bunch of things. Now, originally I did have my stream settings to put into Faith, the first chapter of Faith, but for some reason it listed it as a driving game? I don't know why, and I know it's exactly Faith because the thumbnail looked right, the text looked right, the f capitalizations match the one for Chapter 2 here, but yeah, I'm going to be going through Chapter 1 first, and then Chapter 2. We're going to be doing both today. So, let's just walk around- oh, oh the, and there goes the deer. Oh, well. No! Yeah. Alright. Will you piss off? Oi. I don't know, maybe because I don't have this in like massive blaring volume, maybe I'm not that scared, but that might soon change later on in this playthrough. Oh, oh. Sod off! Public lecture by Carl James Osborne. Connecticut's Historical Connections to Witchcraft, Satanism, and the Beast System. Wednesday at 8 p.m. Aye, the Midnight Sonata. Alright, just... 
un just holify everything. Oh, that sounds wrong. Um, whatever. Oh. The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off the Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. Trees are just... Trees jut out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. Sounds like my neck of the woods. <clears throat> it was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Allred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off the right of the path. Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house. But the Martins had insisted that Amy remains inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with the elements of the right that may seem harsh to lay person. To the lay person. Ah. Okay, so here's the shit. Oh, that looks like a key. Thank you. No! Ugh. Alrighty, now we're worried. So I guess we got the key for something. Anything else here that needs some exorcism? Maybe this Brock? No. I am D M D D I D D D D. I know nothing. The hell are you? Whatever. Mm, any trees here? And maybe that bush needs an exorcism. Any gods hiding in these bushes or patches? I don't know. Uh, whatever. Yeah, I figured as much. There's a lot to go through around here. Hmm. Well, well, well. Ah. Hey, less scary and more annoying. You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Saturday, May 3rd. 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions, turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Now I'm certain it does. Ah, no! Almost got me there, bucko! Hmm, does this rock need an exorcism? No. Uh, hmm... Anything around here, maybe? Alrighty. That just leaves me over there. Hmm. And I'm guessing if I go down this way, it'll probably just take me back to my car. Or not. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah. Hey, hey, dear! Don't go on. Only living thing that I actually cared about around here. Whatever. That. Oh! You sawed off. I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me that they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of the storage. I guess if you're out here in the middle of the road, you gotta protect yourself somehow. Lord knows what kind of crazies are out there. Hi, Dominic. Alrighty. I guess maybe let's head back to the car real quick, or maybe... Hmm. What the? Uh, you killed him. Father Garcia, Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your cave. 
from your care and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have been have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. Cardinal Gifford. Supposed to be an 8-bit indie horror game of sorts. Which, I mean, I'm dealing with demons and spirits and I'm playing as a priest, so definitely hitting that mark there. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I was kind of on the fence about it, but I mean, it's uh, October, so why not? Now then... Am I going, like, way too far? I feel like I'm straying. I really feel like I'm straying somewhere. Hmm. Aw, oh, dear. Uh, nothing here, nothing there. I've already exercised that. Um. Let's boogie on over here. Oh! A graveyard. Or what's left of one. Nothing here to read? Ooh, but that probably needs an next system. Yes! Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers in the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best, Daryl Henderson, Henderson, State of Connecticut Historical Society. Ooh, does that tree need an exorcism? No, it does not. Disappointing. Um, dear? Uh, excuse me a second. Sorry about that, had to take a call. Now where were we? Ah, right. Yeah, I do need to get back to shiny hunting that Arceus. Last time we were at 220 and no luck, unfortunately. Okay, so let's actually head, I guess let's head back to my car and then head straight up and see where we go from there. Because it seemed like I'm just going around in circles and I'm starting to lose my place around here. Anything over here? What the hell? Chaos Rings! Chaos Rings? Okay. Does anything need a good exorcism around here? I feel like something needs a good exorcism around here. So, so let's give something a good exorcism around here, because this doesn't look safe. What is that, a squirrel or a fox? Either way, poor little bugger. Okay, let's uh, head back up. Anything else here that needs a good exercising? No? Alright, then let's just press on.
Oh, ah. Oh. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was a guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was at the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It's gone quiet. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. And so the music is cut. All that's left is just silence and concern. Oh? Ah, a, fam a family portrait. I'm guessing the girl in the center is Amy, I assume? I mean, I did see someone purple in the house, like, walking up before, like, just as I got to the house, so maybe it's her. Okay, let's see what else we could find around here. Well, that's a hell of a drawing for a kid. Nate. Uh, what about this thing here? Looks like a... looks like a jack-o'-lantern? Or just a regular lantern with a face? Oh, wait, that's... no, wait, this is the kitchen, so that's probably just, uh... I'm guessing because it's yellow and red, I'm guessing that's a fruit bowl with a banana and apple on it. Okay. Anything else here needs a good exercising? Oh, maybe the TV. You know how it is with horror flicks. Uh, TVs usually have something terrible in them. No? Nothing? Okay. Check everything before journeying into the basement. I think I'm just going to go with the fruit bowl for that one. And there's a bed. Um, what the? Something following me? It looks like something's following me, at least in the mirror. Okay. So I guess I got to be careful on that forefront. Okay. Coat rack need? No, no, I guess that was it. Maybe the clock. The grandfather clock, you know. Ancestors and. No, okay. Picture here. No. I'm guessing this, since this is the foyer, or maybe the main hall or something, I'm guessing this is the staircase up. So let's just check up here. Mm. Let's need a... no? Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, uh. That's locked. Maybe this elliptical? Or maybe this uh, bicycle exercising machine? No. Uh. And what about here? Mm, nope. What about the sink here? Alright, so this is the bathroom. Is that a rubber ducky? Ah! I don't like the silence. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods speak to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her, and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Okay, so... That needed exercising, so I guess that's it for the bathroom then. Yeah. So... Ah. There's a note there, but there's also a toy up here. Does that need exercising? Yes! Be gone! Bob must have been stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird-looking doll for Amy's birthday. 
I'll ask Anish about it the next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem to like the doll. Didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would have rather had a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her. Or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon during... A bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's, my mother's first name and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. So it looks like some other priest or something... Well, I guess not necessarily a priest, but just someone who had a cross in their house decided, yeah, something's going iffy. Ooh, toys. Is that an etch -a sketch That's a Simon Says. And that's a pictograph. And I think that's one of those, like, talking things. There's, I mean, a good number of these were, like, in Toy Story, but a handful of these I actually did used to play with. I did actually have an etch -a sketch when I was young. It didn't work out too well. But I do also remember I had the Marvin's Magic Drawing Board. I ruined that shit on the first week. Simon says, be gone, spirits. Any of these toys possessed? I don't mean the, f I don't mean the fun Toy Story kind. Or rather, maybe like the end of Toy Story kind, where they revolted against Sid. Okay. I think that's all I could really see in regards to the in regards to this supper area here, so let's mosey on down. Now that leads to the ex at least the house entrance. So I guess hmm. Wait, did I was I able am I able to get through here? No. No. So I guess yeah, let's head over to the basement. Uh, find out what's uh what's down here. We already got the drawing very early on. So let's see what uh, we can find here in the basement. That's, uh, I guess that's probably just spider webs there. A whole lot of storage boxes. Probably getting ready for something. That looks like blood, but I can't get through this area. Nothing I can really exercise around here. Uh, all right. Oh. Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really is bright my day to hear from you. In your letter, you asked what was the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working on has a lot of folks who are practicing Kimbamba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday we talked to a boy, about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said, No, but I have prayed to San La Muerte. He told us about the time he stayed over at his cousin's house, and, according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to a god and that god would make him feel scared like that. A god wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months. Leighton? Where was this episode of Prof Where was this episode of Professor Leighton, and why didn't we get that over Cat Tree Hill? <laughs> I jest, I jest. Alright, anything else here need a good exercising? This other puddle? Wouldn't be the first puddle. Oh, they said San La Muerte. You say Sam La Muerte. I don't know who has it right. Does these wall need exercising? Do any of you eight need exercising? Hmm. 
Mm. Mm. Does the sewing machine need exercising? So it looks like they were making sheets of sorts here. Oh. Oh. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the right for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical, and the thing was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up, to, up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother! Mother! the whole time. Finally, I got to sit down with, the, with me to the kitchen, at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread open wide. Amy was not in the chair. Oh, so this is probably where they performed the exorcism on Amy. And it's an upside-down cross. But well, that explains all the blood. The hell? That is a bed. Oh, jeez! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Come on! You're too late. Okay. You're gonna pop up some- After you! Aye. Come on. Abandon all hope? I weep? Look, it's gonna take me a while to translate what you're constantly saying. I'm trying to translate Trogdor over here. Ooh! You almost got me there. Uh huh. Come and get some. No, you don't. That was probably the door that I couldn't go up, going that I couldn't go through prior. That's most likely the attic. Let's go check it out. Ah, I was right. Let's do this thing. You got nowhere to run, Amy. Karen, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you that their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. Be my superior father with when I confronted her. She managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents with their own... I have to go back to that house. They, the nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there waiting for me. I could still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm very sorry. John. John. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Okay. My God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Come get some. Let the power of the Lord dispel you from this world. Oh, hi there. Oh, no there. Jesus! Oh, jeez! Hey, come on! 
Ooh, no, you don't. Get that good damage. Get that good damage. Oh. Ah, ha, ha. No, you don't. Get that good damage. Get that good damage. I think I'm damaging her. It. Whatever. Ah. No, you don't. <clears throat> Come on. Ooh, ooh, get that good damage. Get that real good damage in. You ain't getting the best of me. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh. Aye. Ah, stop, no, no, whoa. Oh, no, 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 come on. Uh. Okay, phase two. Oh, jeez. Stay away from that circle. Oh. Okay, so she goes around in that pattern of the star. Or pentagram. Ooh, no you don't. Stop that. So ah, damn it! More ah! First death. Whatever. Shake it off. Let's try again. Okay, so I really gotta stay out of the outline. Ah! So stay out of the outline and stay out of that circle. All the while, keep damaging her. I, eh, eh. Don't get too close, because I'm guessing that circle that she also makes also causes some damage. Nope. Ooh. Oh dear. I. Get that good damage. Get that good damage. Get that good damage. Get that good damage. Oh no, you don't. Boom, 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 boom. Oh! We're getting somewhere. Come on. Oh, here we go. And... Be gone. Be gone. <laughs> okay. Well. That was a thing. <sighs> Jesus Christ. In the most literal sense of the word. But we made it. That's what counts. Now, we just... need to mosey on at it. Kill her. A dog with one bullet. <laughs> I don't know if it feels right to... Because it's not her fault and... Ay, Dios mio. So I'm guessing it's probably down this way. Uh... Oh... Mmm, do I really listen to that? It's not her fault, she got possessed. I... I can't. I can't in good faith. I can't in good faith kill her. It's not her fault. I've done what I needed to do. So you know what? I'm just gonna leave things be. Head back to my car. I've done my job. I've exercised her. She could rest in peace for all I care. But I ain't gonna be the one to take her out old yeller style. So let's just get the hell out of here. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this one shot. There's not even anything else, and I don't feel like game hunting. This ain't the Oregon Trail. Maybe 8-bit style, but, uh, and I have a shotgun. As in, or, yeah, I guess it's a, yeah, it is a shotgun. Really think about it. But whatever. I guess it's time for me to get the hell out of Dodge. And... Oh! <laughs> In a 
dick! I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble, he will deliver me and honor me. I can't so that thing actually had a name? At that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. I feel like I've done the right thing. I did my job and I didn't have to execute her. Ending by the f of five. There are five endings to this thing. When faith endures. Well, I'll probably check out the other endings in my spare time. Police animal experts investigate chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal which some residents are calling Chupacabra were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a, by a motorist yesterday. The animal had been apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorists who had discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said a Sterling police spokesman. This is clearly a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that has escaped from the owners of an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal they had found, although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have received enough who have not received enough sunlight. A secret fight you can unlock with the gun in the house. Hmm. Oh. It just takes me back to this one. Hmm. There's a secret fight you can unlock with the gun in the house. So I guess before we move on to chapter two, I guess what, I should just probably wave this around and see what comes after me? Still not too privy in regards to killing the girl. What if I head back, uh... Hmm. I guess let's just quickly walk around this house to figure out what I could probably do. And you face yourself, priest. Oh, wait a second. Where was it? Where was the one with the mirror? I think it was in the main floor? Hmm. Let's take a gander real quick. Hmm. Oh. A gun with one bullet. What do we have? Okay, so... Nothing really happened at that moment. Hmm. Uh. Okay. 
Okay. A dog with one bullet. Let's see if we can shatter it, I suppose. Whoa, jeez! Hey! Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Get away from me! Aye. Ah, jeez. Stop it. Ah. What was that all about? December 30th, 1986. Dear Mr. McGlashan. It has been 30 days since the beginning of my treatment here at Yale Psychiatric Institute. Dr. Spino, who has been so patient with me, has helped me understand my afflictions has, and has helped me find a way to move forward and accept the truth. With Dr. Spino's help, I have come to accept what really happened in September at the Martin family residence. I accept that what happened was not the result of any supernatural phenomenon, but rather the desperate actions of a young girl driven to violence by her dogmatic parents and old church rituals that are thought to drive out evil. I'm happy to report that since accepting the truth, my nightmares have ceased, and now I enjoy peace of mind that I have not felt since the incident. Given my progress since the first coming here, I respectfully request my release from the Yale Psychi Psychiatric Institute. Contingent upon follow-up appointments with Dr. Spinell in the future. Sincerely, John Ward. Huh. Oh, wait, I am John. Oh. Hmm. Oh, man, I still get the... A dog with one bullet. I still ain't killing the girl. Hmm. Well, that was certainly a thing. A serious thing. A very concerning thing. Alright, I guess since we've already come this far, my curiosity has indeed peaked. What happens if I kill the girl? Because clearly that is an option. I'd figure since we've already gone this far with like alternate variants. <sighs> Sorry, kid. Hope you find peace. Well, that's that, I suppose. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Whatever the other three must be. I think I'm straying. You know what, let's just keep heading down. If anything, I could just head left or right and then head back to the car. Oh, never mind. And off we go. Ah, damn it! One to five. Murder! Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man is in custody after confessed to a murder of Sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Palmyra. Oh, I am John, yes. Was pulled over on Snake Meadow Road, Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward said, repeated, reportedly said, I've killed her, according to the police report. The officer called for backup 
after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to the authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. Oh, so it wasn't that long. Okay. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods uh, near the now-abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of the second-story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told... Let's see. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. The rest of the article is missing. Yeah, well, considering that there's a chapter two, I doubt that unless that unless it starts out with a police breakout akin to a payday two, that uh, that indeed this would not be the actual ending. Right. Well, I guess. Yep, it takes me right back. Okay. So I'm guessing all the end, either all the endings deal with using the gun. And, uh, or maybe some of them don't even bother with it. Hmm. Well, just to be safe. Right. Let's go exploring this area and seeing what else I could probably go old yeller on. Find the fox. Wait, you mean the fox that was already dead? Hmm. Hmm. So this is the fox, eh? Well, lovely. It's even more dead. Fantastic. It was already dead to begin with, but now it's even more dead. What a waste. Whatever. All right, let's get back to the car. And as we mosey on out, knowing that we just shot a corpse, nothing bad has happened, I suppose. What the? Can I help you find gentlemen? Uh... Ending three of five. The Offering. Hello, Amy. I'm sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It is not hard for people who trust what they do not want, that they do not understand. I know that you're only 17, but you are clearly an adult and are able to handle your own life. Do not let your mom and dad stop you from following your dreams. If there's anything I can do to help you, just let me know. We're having a get-together at the clinic Saturday night, and I would love for you to stop by. We still consider you a part of the team, even if you... Even if your mom and dad do not. We hope to see you there, Gary. Oh. Well, I guess I've been conscripted. I think. I guess. A dog with one bullet. Well. That was a thing. Yeah, it wasn't- I do know- yeah, I did see that it was in the shape of a pentagram. I did see the five points. Plus, there's been a whole lot of that in this game lately. Alright, so where else could I probably check with this thing? 
Oh, you know, let's check the shack. So let's just head down this way. Let's head over to the shack. I already shot you, so no need for that. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. The shack should be somewhere around here. I still am looking into the prospects of playing Cult of the Lamb here with you lot, but I don't know how many participants there would be in- Hi there! Okay. Uh... I don't like your face, so... Well... That's... that? At least for this one? I suppose? There's just this old man, or whatever it was. I'm guessing old because it was like gray or something. I don't know. You know how it is, it was like gray indicating like some kind of age or something. That's how it normally is. I mean, like gray hair and stuff, perhaps. Um, yeah, let's just head back to the car and all this right in the world, I suppose. Hum diddy, hum diddy, hum diddy, I. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be Oh wait, it's just five out of- Wait, wait, hold on! Hey. The f What? Father and son. Esteemed Cardinal Gifford. With all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work you I am doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's afflictions. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a critical time. There is another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family nor let him see this. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul but it also causes a terrible strain on his body. So there may be no mistaking what I mean. I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of the sessions. The photograph is missing. Because of course it is. Okay, so quick head count. Murder. Murder killed Amy. Uh, let's see. Yeah, murder killed Amy. Faith endures. Uh, killed the creature that was following me. Uh, offering killed the fox. Uh, father and son killed the old man or whatever that was over there. The gray man. A gun with one bullet. Okay. Right. The only thing I so unless I, the only thing I can really think of what is his, uh Hmm. Now we just need to go hunting, I suppose, according to you fellow expeditioners. Somewhere in the middle of the woods. Which could be literally anywhere around this damn place. Oh wait, do I have to go hunt for the deer? Do I have to kill the deer? I guess this really is Oregon Trail. Right. Let's go find us a deer then. Nope, that's Amy. I've already I've already blown your brain is out. Or rather, blown your stomach out. I'm already taking care of you, so no need to put another bullet in you. I mean, this whole area is the woods. I don't necessarily have a map of the damn place.
Mm. Oh, there you are. And now you're dead. Ah. And I won't be able to use your meat or anything. Well, that's that. Let us proceed back to the car. Well, that went swimmingly. What the? Okay, that, things look bad, but it, it just, it, just give me a moment, give me a moment. Hey! The Hunter. Unidentified body discovered in near wrecked car. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along the road near Sterling this morning. Along with the body of a person who had not been identified, at 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called to report an accident along Snake Meadow Hill Road. The driver of a silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. A spokesman for the police commented that the body had appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car, deeper into the woods, after having been ejected from the w front windshield. Jesus! It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect it was probably the work of coyotes. Police also noted that parts of a clean white-tailed deer were found in the trunk of a car. From white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 75 pounds of meat. However, it appears the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. Oh, God. Is this an actual Oregon Trail reference? Where it's like, you can... It's like you kill a buffalo and it's like, oh, you have, oh, it's like you got 400 pounds of meat, but uh, you were only able to carry 200 back to your wagon. <laughs> oh, God. They really did make an Oregon Trail reference. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. They would say the whole time, it's like, oh, is this Oregon Trail? And it's like, oh, yeah, they, they knew exactly what they were doing. They knew exactly what they were doing. All right. I, that's all five endings. And we took on the secret boss. I think we are just about done with chapter one. So, give me a moment. We are going, I'm going to get chapter two booted up. I will be back in a moment.
Right. Water check, bathroom use check. Sanity returned, sorta check. Here we are with Faith Chapter 2. I don't know why it's not, uh, hmm. Is this really, uh, it is completely shown here? So it says. No. There we go. They're going to be the same, but whatever. All right. Let's do this thing. For better or for worse. Chapter two. Now I'm gray. And I have a bronze crucifix. Uh, Father Garcia, you're hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative, a rep a representative of the church is currently on route to their home to discuss compensation in return for your discretion. Wait, didn't I already read this? Oh, this is in real time. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome, Cardinal Gifford. Ah, so I'm playing as the other dude. Okay. Nah. course, what kind of priest would I be without my own Bible? Alrighty. These look like photographs of sorts. Somewhere in Chapter 2 has audio from an actual recorded exorcist. Three months. Okay. Two weeks. Okay. And what about this one? One day. Oh! This was progress of this individual. So it's like, that's how you... This is what I was day one. That's what I was two weeks. And that's what I turned into in three months. Jesus Christ. What the hell ha... Oh. 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 How are we doing today, Michael? I is that a fact Where are you? Where did you go? Where the hell did you go? This ain't funny. Come on now. Ugh. Getting real tired of this shit. Ah! Come back here, you son of a bitch. He only took the picture of him in three months. Ah, damn it! Hey! Oh, jeez. Dios mío, what have you done? I have somebody as a pig! You can hide from both people. You shall bring the wrath of the Almighty. <clears throat> Well, ah, we're back to John. Okay. I have a body of a pig. Okay. Oh, my cross is in gold. It's silver or white. 
Either way. Yeah, that definitely looked like it needed to be exercised. Notice! Aviso! Or Aviso. A current investigation being conducted at Gallup Cemetery by the State of Connecticut Historical Society has been postponed until further notice. In the interim, we ask that the public to avoid cemetery grounds, the surrounding woods, any wildlife, and any unidentified persons roaming the area. Thank you for your patience. Very festive. Yeah, if you got problems. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, it's totally not sus totally not suspicious at all. And what? By chapter three, my my crucifix is gonna be freaking bronze or wood. Maybe we need to get this thing upgraded at the blacksmith or some. I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long lost friend. Short. But to the point, I suppose. Right. Save. Dearest disciple, verily, not everyone says Lucifer, Lucifer, shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. You must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessings of the unspeakable return to the safe family tomb, wherever you are in need of rest. Gary. Okay. Enter the spirit house. Oh. Hey, fellas. How you doing? Ah, jeez! Hey. Uh. Okay. So, I guess I got a key now? Uh. Can't take a seat. Ooh. Ugh. Ugh. Nice hair, though. Your reflection hides the keys. Hmm. This is you to see. I need to take from this guy? Nope. Nope. Yeah, I think I've done all that I could here. Nothing with these four. Yeah, right. Uh, here we are. Uh huh. All right, let's check around this area, see what I need to exercise and stuff. Mm. What about you? No? You? This is a... Uh, this is a proper cemetery. Oh, wait. Any of these uh, need crucifying? No? Okay. I did I did I did I did I did I um is that a coffin? No. Do you need exercising? No. Hmm. Yeah, those guys looked a bit worse for the wear, but and I guess we have actually genuine seahorse somewhere here. Right, up, left. So, look at where the statues are pointing. Someone's going right, up. 
I think that one was pointing left, so... Nah. Or maybe it's not left to right, but right to left, so maybe... Up, left, up, right? So, let's try that. Mm. Up. Right. Left. Hmm. Or maybe they were both pointing up. So maybe up, up, left? Or rather, right? Up. Up, and then left? Let's give that a go. No, that wasn't it either. Or maybe it is from left to right, so... Right, up... Right, up, left, up? Right... Uh, up... Left... Up? Hey! 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 Jesus Christ! Yep, I got it right! Stop it! Get away! No, okay, here we go! Piss off! Nice. Well, I guess I got that right. I've been freed. No more overbearing father turned violence alcoholic. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. By day, my body withers away, but by night, my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge. Guided by beings of pure darkness, I have been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five. First at the top left point, and then down. I will lure them into the woods, then I will show them my power. Ain't that some shiggity? Okay. So I guess now we can move on? Oh, I took care of that area, I suppose. That's just one. Oh? Was that always there? I think so. That looks like a wide open area. So, you know, before we tackle that section, let's go to the right. Anything here need a good exercising? Oh. It is with great sadness that the Sterling community announces the passing of Cindy Mary Martin, 38, and Robert Kimball Martin, 40. devoted husband and wife and beloved parents. Their lives tragically came to an end on September 21st due to an accident in their home. Bob was training advisor for the United States Navy and Cindy was a CPA and more recently a stay-at-home mother. They were married March 12, 1969 in Voluntown. Though not particularly religious, they taught their children to be kind, generous, and involved in the community. A public closed casket memorial Close casket. Mm. 
memorial will be held at uh, Tillingast Funeral Home at 10 a.m. Thursday. Burial services will proceed shortly after. Bob and Cindy are survived. Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughter Amy and twin boys Nate and Jason. So that's the thing about that tomb. It's a save point. That's relatively clever. I guess... Uh, all right. That makes sense. Oh! One of the guys is gone. Mmm. Mmm. One of the faces is uh, not lit anymore. So one of the three dudes are gone, and one of the four faces are uh, not lit anymore. Okay. Guess we'll pay this place a visit every single time we take care of a section, then. Let's get back to it. I don't like how that statue is kind of now looking at me with a giant ass cross. Access approved. Niceness. Can't read any of these tombs. Probably too worn down. And I'm just being reminded of that uh, cemetery in uh, in London that was nearby my uncle's house. Just a nice little quaint area. And then you just have this really old ass cathedral. Someone in there. Do we need to have to word? Do we need to have an intervention between you, me, and our Lord Jesus Christ? Oh! Oh! Yeah! The statue moved! Do you need an exorcism, big guy? No? Okay. Let's keep moving, then. Actually, you know what? Just be safe. Nothing's changed in here, so nothing else to inspect. That's to be obvious, I suppose. All right, let's see what's open up here. But yeah, there was like so many, there were so many headstones that were like even older than freaking America. This was very interesting. Ah! What the? You just stay the hell back. Ah, damn it! Ah! Good thing we saved! Let's try this again! So avoid the pattern, and then hit him with the god. Gotcha. You are no angel, boyo. You get away from me with that tendril. Be back! Ha ha ha! Ass bat. Anything else here needs a good crucify? Or good exercising? Save now or risk doing it again. You don't have to tell me twice. Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant. Not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words. Just a big, warm smile. Somehow it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctor's. Her smile was as big as ever, but not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday I was walking and she was shocked to see that the woman was standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path of the woods. That's when I met Gary. Gary, Gary, Gary. Given what you expeditioners are saying, Gary plays a much bigger role than I am thinking. Than I was expecting. Yep, save and... Ah, one of the... The second guy's gone. That only leaves you, big fella. 
And two of the four souls are gone. And two of the four skulls are not lit anymore. Okay. Well, we got our heading. I do like how the save point is at the literal center of it all. It's locked. Can I just go around it? I guess that probably goes underneath or something. So yeah, I guess we were killing the child? The unborn child or something? I... No. Hmm. Clearly the man with a plan. Alrighty. I'm definitely gonna have a word with him if I ever come across him. Oh, lovely. I guess this is another puzzle that I gotta figure out. Yes, these are some nice trees. Do any of them need exercising? At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if any of them just sprouted legs and started sprinting. Just because of all the crap that I've had to deal with in this game already, I would not be surprised if any of them just started running. And we're back. It's locked. Okay, let's go up this way. Best place to go is the beginning. Do not trust your senses. Eh, cryptic as all hell. Let's see. Oh, there's a tree right there. Doesn't need exercising. Okay. Starting with the top left. Nope. Really thought that'd be it. Unless, it's like, what? Try and move it... Uh, on one go? Nope. Those rocks are for the other ending, the bad ending. <clears throat> I suppose it would seem. Uh, only when blood is spilled, this may happen. Must be nice to have foresight in regard to this game, but uh, yeah, I do not. Like, this is literally my first time ever going through, like, chapter two. So all this may be blowing in my head. Meanwhile, for the rest of you who have played, who have probably played this game or watch other people do, just... It's just... It's like, oh great, he's missing this, or he's missing that. Ah oh, well. I don't to find this out on my own anyway. But, uh, hmm. Let's consult this. Hey! Deer tree! Where must I go next? 
Sound advice. Adios. I have a feeling I probably changed something. So just to be safe, let's go ahead and... Last soul is in the graveyard. Let's save here. Oh wait, I think it was probably like down this way? Did I go in here? No, that's just a tombstone. So... Ah, here we are. Hey, you are! Come out, you! Yeah! Bastards using the... Ah! Bastards using the clouds as cover! Sod off! Oi! Losing Grandpa was the hardest thing I've ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks, and then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, Would you like to go to your grandfather again? Would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much, I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friends' house. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandmother in there. My grandfather in there. Only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me that I have a debt to pay. They say that they have work for me to do. <clears throat> Alright. That's all three of them. Let's head back to the save area. They're all gone. And that leaves only one soul lit up there. That's my blood! That is my blood! Oh, jeez. Great. I'm bleeding out. Am I on a time limit now? Oh! Okay. Huh. Well. I'm here now. Hmm. Anything else near your exercising? At least I'm recuperating. Blood's gone. This is not leaving some kind of evil trail. Uh... What the? Okay. There's our living tree. <clears throat> oh, where, oh, where did that living tree go? Oh, where, oh, where could it be? Oh, where, oh, where did that living tree run? Oh, where, oh, where could it be? Uh... Are you... Come out, come out, wherever you are. I am sick and tired of this! What in the... She guards the door to underground purgatory. I have not seen her. Children fear her. Okay. Confess thy sins. Day one of our paranormal investigation into the old Snake Meadow Hill Church. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. On our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we have heard before. Evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield in secret tunnels under the chapel. 
but there was this finely lady game that we hadn't heard of yet. Apparently it has something to do with the spirit, with the summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There is even an old rhyme they told us. Walk the church from room to room and maybe you'll see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome. We're going to try the game tonight as soon as we get settled in. Walk the church from room to room and maybe you will see her. You will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Mm. These cam- these, uh, candles must be indicating of something. But what, I'm not sure. Expeditioners, take note of these candles. This one is currently lit. These candles seem to correspond to this actual structure. Because as you can see, there is one up there that goes, there's one up top. Because the one that's lit up, that's probably mine here. And then this one, and then there's this other one that means that there's probably another life over there. So, and since there's no other candle on this side on the right, and this one doesn't have a right, so this is probably the layout of the area. So... Left, up, right, right, okay. Oh? Night three. Shouldn't have come here. Tape's missing. Lars stuck behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyway. So that's why so I'm in this room now. But that candle up top and you really need to Indicates that there's a way I could get through here. Oh! Pray for me, Father, for I have sinned. What seeks have you yet to confess? I tried to save a girl from evil, but my fears overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry and broke my vows to God. A year later, the girl reached out to me again, but in the end, I couldn't save her. I left her to die. I am sorry for me and my past sins. Thou hast said will. Here is my penance. Bring the child to me. Perform the set of the attrition. And thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give thanks to the Lord for his good. For his mercy and yours forever. Oh, that was a confession box. Ah, that's... Well, I'm up here in the northern part. Night one. We still haven't found a way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confession booth leading to this hallway. Henry's going into town to buy a crowbar. We'll see if we can get these boards off of some of these doors. But that's not even the best part. We caught an EVP. You can't hear it on tape very well. But to us, it kind of sounded like laugh laughing. Thank God we brought the nice mic. We'll, receive, we'll review it on the sound gear once we get back into town. Bring the child to them. Ugh. I've seen worse. All right. So I can't get through these doors because I don't because I lack the necessary tools. Well, we've already checked that area. Oh, wait a second. So yeah, if there's... so that one's lit on that side. Is there any way to, like, actually get over to that area? Nope. Okay. And I guess given the candle placements, there's no actual way to get through these doors. So, let's go back this way. 
and see what we can find from the other room that we can access. We can access. It should be up this way. Do you two need exercising? Ah, okay. What the? God damn it! More this. <clears throat> well, at least it was kind enough to take me back here. Here I was worried I'd have to do all that all over again. Right. Okay, so dodge the bastard, then hit him with the power of God. Got it. Let's try this again. This time with gusto. Or not. Fine, whatever. Yep, this must be the main hallway of the church. Oh, oh. Night two. We were gonna, we're gonna be rich. We caught the supernatural stuff on camera before, sure. Doors opening on their own, things falling off of shelves, but nothing like this. Tonight, while we were trying the spindly lady game again, one of the candles on the floor lit up by itself as soon as Lars walked into the room. It was nuts and we got it all on film. We're gonna make a fortune selling this to the TV stations. Something tells me that uh, they weren't able to cash in those checks. Hmm. Do not trick her. Got it. Avoid her and then hit her with the power of God. So just be. So I just got to keep an eye out for whenever it happens. Hmm. Nope. Anything on the walls here? Uh, anything over here? Oh! That's an interesting cross. Ahoy, hoy! Um, okay. Well, the infrastructure could use a lot more work. I suppose. You need to be crucified? No? Anything else here needs to get hidden? This chair? No? Hmm. Okay. Let's get back to this. Whatever all well, this is. Hmm. Nothing up here. Nothing to pick up from here. Oh boy. Okay. I don't know where the hell you're going. Anywhere else I could check around? here Oh, these are all back up. Okay. I can't really take this up or anything. It's just there. 
would be nice to take it with me, but whatever. Hey, the Eye of God or something. Anything over here? No. Wait, can I go to these seats? Yes. Or rather, this area anyway. You guys got anything I need to crucify? No. Nothing here. Let's check these uh, stained glasses again. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. Ooh. I can't perform a sermon here. Not my place anyway, I suppose. Okay. Hmm. I don't even see anything that could hum me down here. Nothing over here. Oh. I already got that. I already read that one off. Oh, wait, maybe that's what I had to do. Here we go. There we are. And then just hit him. Boom. 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 You're not getting me this time. No, you don't. Come on, you. Nope, damn it. Mm. Oh, damn it. Ah. In the way! Okay. Okay, so expel that. Because I have faith. Because I gotta have faith, faith, faith. Okay. Right. So that's the thing, eh? I gotta be the only living soul in this area. All right, let's get through all this one, all this nonsense again. Pick that up. Okay. Go through here. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, that is indeed creepy. Okay. Don't have to exercise you. I can't pick you up. You're not a thing. Alrighty, let's take it from the top.
check all of you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Alright, I exercised you. Alright, I took care of you. Travel back here just to be safe. Oh, right. No, I already took care of you. Mm. Just to be absolutely sure. Yeah. Get through here. Mm. Ah, right. You're just a curtain. Let's see, can I just, uh... Yeah, let's go save first. And then we will tackle this thing again. Just so I don't have to worry about having to uh, look for all that stuff again. Just have to go through all... Just have to go through this whole path again. Well, at least it's a straightforward shot. It probably me. Am I playing with a controller or a keyboard? I'm using the keyboard and spacebar. Yeah, I'm just using the keyboard for this one. I mean, it seemed like a simple game, so I didn't feel like breaking out my controller. Now we mosey on back into the cathedral and get back to work. Just a straightforward shot. They're at the right, so let's head over there. Or not. Now they're back. Yes, I know this has controller support. But I feel contempt with just using a keyboard. Nothing up here. Hmm. Oh, wait a second. We can actually just head over to the confession box and reset our save there. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Alright, come on, let's try to figure this thing out. So I guess now it's what, just a matter of trying to get the toss pocket to spawn? And then get at it with round three? That's kind of the vibe I'm getting with this. I don't have to exercise that, right? No. That's a whole lot of nothing. Mm. I know you're somewhere out here. Gotcha. God, it feels like Pokemon Gold and Silver all over again. I have to constantly go at this until the son of a bitch actually spawns exactly where I am. There we go! No, you don't. Come on, you. Okay, I got it. 
Wait for them. Move at the last. Move just before they move. Move before just they move. And then take them on. And they go on that set path. Heretic. Down for the count. Finally. Hmm. Skull. Well, that was certainly a uh, bit of a pain, but I guess once you figure out the pattern, it's just all Gucci. All right, let's head back to the main hall. Maybe we could find something of use. You didn't drop anything. Ah! Darkness surrounds thee. Is that a fact? This is my final memoir, hastily scribbled on a page of the good book. I now descend the staircase, knowing full well what that uh, she waits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as we know it on the surface. Even now, the hands don't move past two o'clock. God's work be done. I've been to where only the faintest light shines and protect from things unspeakable. God help me, Father Clark, a foolish old man going mad in this dark prison, ears bleeding from the screams of a demon. Oh, well, that seems very, very promising. Oh, great. Oh, good, it gets darker. Lovely. Okay. I'd say take notes, expedition. Oh. Oh. Do I have to do this in order? Expeditioners take note. Ears. Ear helmet. Some word sign. H, X, F. L. Squiggly. Or swirly. Plus. Box. God, I can't even remember this. Uh, uh, okay. So it is a mem so it is a memory thing. But where do you start? You figured you start at the top and then just work your way clockwise. Unless you start at one and then you work your way to the top. Let's see. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. I. Am I doing it wrong? See, you look at it from there. And I'm guessing there's no other way to get through it. Okay, so maybe you just have to find the starting point. So, what? Wrong. Oh. Oh. No. Oh! Oh! Jeez! That's what's coming after me! Okay. So you start at the H there. The H-looking thing. Okay, so you start at the H. X. Hmm. So you start at the H, X, and... okay. 
Right, so it is a memory thing. So what? The H, the X, the F. Hmm. Swirly. Okay, I'm not dead. It's a thing. Box, I suppose. Uh, way this way. Uh. Hey! A thing happened. So, can I just. Don't have to worry about. Okay. Um. Oh, come on! God damn it! No, at least we figured it out. Right. So, go down this way, follow this path, and get whatever the hell that is. So, again, boom. 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 Uh, boom. 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 Access approved. Okay. Mother of Demons. That is certainly the case. I hear you. Anything else I need to exercise around here? Oh, great. Back out here now. Okay. Uh, let's see where this path takes me. What are y'all running from? Oh. Oh, wait. Wait a second, aren't you the three guys that were in the safe area? Three murdered in latest waves of ritualistic killing, Sterling on Connecticut. Bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night, in what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Sandra Atwood, Angel N Nogales, and Troy Inglés are the names of the unfortunate victims who were, who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed in a, in a paganistic ritual. Pandemonium Regnant. Two of the victims' bodies were also partially burned, although authorities would not specify who. The bodies were found several miles from Gallup Cemetery, where residents reported a tomb that had been desecrated. They also found trails of blood leading off into the woods. Investigators will not comment whether or not these two incidents could be related. The arrangement of bodies in a ritualistic pattern, as well as writings of certain symbols in blood, matches the style of several murders that have occurred in the Sterling area since 1986. The killings may be connected to last week's brutal slayings of Amy Martin, the 17-year-old girl, by John Ward. Ward had impersonated a priest to gain Amy's trust to be before luring her into the woods and killing her. Investigators are, are asking residents to report any suspicious activities to the police. Authorities are urging not to mourn the loss of Atwood, Nadalis, and the English Sutoti after they were all degenerative devils worshipping thugs who were hooked on the who were hooked on crack cocaine and hated their parents. Why even conduct an investigation at all? That's all that's what you like to think, wouldn't you, John? There were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved. You actually did, a, did the community a favor when you found them getting high in that tomb. You stalked them through the graves and killed them one by one. You ignored their cries for help, their pleas for mercy. You put holes in their ruined drug addict bodies, and then you chopped off their heads because everyone knows that they're moving ahead is the only way to kill a snake. Well, guess what? You didn't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill what you cannot be killed. Thou shalt not raise up what thou canst not put down again. Thou could not kill Amy. Thou shalt not destroy my works, for they are the works of the eternal dragon. Even when, even now, she's at that door, the, at, her hand is at thy throat. 
Yet you did not see her. I will have thy soul, for I am the god of this world. Pandemonium rang out Satan, Evatai, Pandemonium rang out of Satan, one, two, Pandemonium. Um, uh, 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 I'm here, John. What? Jesus Christ! <laughs> What is this acid trip? Okay. Well. That was a thing? What in God's n candy tunnel? Death awaits. Well, that is a symbol. I don't know what for, but it is a symbol. Mm. Okay, so I guess we're now just in the sewers or something. Oh, that's a skeleton. This is a normal note for once. Multiple officers wounded, one dead in sewer tunnel shootout. Law enforcement officials are reporting multiple officers down, including one of the deputies who was fatally wounded after an exchange of gunfire in the sewer tunnels near Snake Meadow Hill Road, also known as the Candy Tunnel. Okay, so I am in the sewers. Witnesses say that they heard the shots approximately 10 minutes after police raided the tunnels, where suspected murderer Joe Bauman, aka the Candy Store Killer, was also alleged to be hiding. At this time, it is not known how many officers have been wounded, although it has been confirmed that one officer has been killed. Officials are not saying if Bauman was war was wounded in the exchange, and the efforts are being made to recover the casualties from the tunnels. Oh, lovely. So we got a murderer somewhere in the tunnels. Ugh, beautiful. I will keep an eye out. I see some red over there. What is that? What is that? Satan lives. Quaint. I see you over there. Don't think I didn't. Asshole. Hey! Hey! There's some arrows going up. But I can't go up. Okay. Read. When... Don't move. What? When you see it, don't move. When you see it, don't move. Okay. When I see what? <laughs> oh, jeez. Right. When you see it, don't move. Got it.
Duly noted. Christ almighty. Now. Mm -hmm. Balaam. Oh, I can head up this way now? Ugh. When I was a boy, my Nana used to tell me old legends about the dragons, trolls and demons that lived up in the mountains of Norway. In those old tales, the people were never strong enough to kill the monster, so instead they would sacrifice one of their own to appease it. Keep it as satisfied, it was like a deal with the devil. One sacrifice per year that the beast would not come down from the mountain and slaughter the entire village in one night. There was no candy store killer. What we were dealing with was not even human. When I got separated from the other officers, I saw the damn thing dragging what was left of the Jenkins down into the lair. That's when I understood. The bums and the tweakers, the ones with grid and the child prostitute runaways, they'll eventually come back to the tunnels. They always do. It can have them, for all I care. Nobody wants them around, except maybe that thing. And I tell you what, I hope to God it never gets tired of them. So that's where that unspeakable thing came from. Yes, I'm reading it in the 8-bit in the 8-bit voice effect. Why? Because I can. Although I will do my best to keep to keep it off while I'm not reading any of these. Okay. Okay, so we went down that way, and we couldn't go any further, so what if we try just heading down this way? Let's see where that takes us. Ah! Ah! We have our heading! Probably towards more insanity. Okay, just another corridor. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Save complete, meaning there's something that's bound to go down. Let's follow the candles. Ugh. I'm sorry, God, please save me. Anything over here to exercise? As interesting as it would be to check those other areas, it would be best to just stay the path. Just to see where this whole nightmare leads. Anything else you're near exercising? That puddle? That wall? No? Okay. A flashlight. Okay. Will you listen? What the hell? You get the lead. You get the hell away from me! Get back! Oh, there you are! Ah, no, ah, gee, woo! Ah, jeez. I see you, son of a bitch! Oh, there you are! Get the hell out of here! Disgusting. Right. You leave any note? No? Okay. Anything over here? No? Good. Where the hell are you going? Hmm? 
I have a flashlight. It's a good thing I didn't go off the beaded path. Because now I can see where I'm going. Mostly. Yes, I'm here. You want the smoke? Come and get it! I don't know what that says. They hate... They hate the light. Okay. Right. I see. I see. You all stay back. You all stay back. Okay, so I gotta push these guys back while trying to activate whatever this is. All the while making sure that uh, these guys don't bug me. You keep back, all of you. I am tired of your shit. You keep back, every last one of you. Okay, now where are you guys coming from now? I have a flashlight and the power of God. A key. Don't mind if I do. What the? Two holding hands over there? How lewd. <laughs> so there are three things that I need to take care of before I could even get to that. Okay. Can't stay still, can't stay still, can't stay still, can't stay still. That's missing. Ah, oh, no, you don't. Almost had me there. And you're just being a little bugger. You all need to stay back. Could I also take them out with my crucifix along with the light? Oh no, you don't. You almost had me there. This way? No. Anything down here? No.
Okay. Hmm. More lost than anything. More lost than scared of anything. Just where the hell do I go next? Ah! Aha! We have a path. Any of these need, uh, exercising? Okay, what the hell? Okay. Well, let's work together, I suppose. Yes, it's true what happened to Amy. You are no murderer, God. There is no but you do have God. But Amy bound her soul, he let rest. Let us go. Yes, let us go. Okay, so... Take on that son of a bitch! of my goddamn crucifix! I can probably hear it. Probably a better spot. Dead center. I will say both the Lord. He despised if you can buy for trace. I go if he buy will choose. I shall not be afraid of the tear if he might. Nor if he will set what if he darkness. I shall behold the reward of the wicked. Because I have made the Lord by refuge. You're not touching him! There shall no evil be found me, for he shall give his angels charge over me. They shall bear me beneath their hands, and I shall tread upon the serpent. Mm. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. No, 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 you don't. Oh, 
I'm on. Yes! Boss fight time! Come on out! I can't protect you with this dark, Gary! Shut it! Piss off! I saw you there! Yeah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I would not be surprised if the actual exorcism was used in those screams. I'd believe it. Saw it off. Sorry if I can't get to any messages right now, but I have very little visibility in this area. Here we go. Groove two. Jeez, whoo! Almost had me there. Get hit with the power of God! Hit! Gary, I cannot protect you if she- Ah, damn it! Ooh. Gotta watch the arches there. Come on, you. Ooh. Oh, no, no. Oh, damn it. Oh, dear. Trying to do a quick turn so I can get. Gotcha! supposed to protect Gary while he's just... Oh, she's jutting all over the damn place. Just, what, keep hitting her so that she didn't even give the chance? Oh, jeez. Nice try there, buddy. Mm. Whoa, jeez. Get that good damage. Gary, I cannot do much if you just... God damn it! Oy. Yeah, this is gonna get annoying. Hey. There we go. Whoa, jeez. No, you don't. You sound like a terrible ass radio. Ah, Gary, I can't protect you if it There we go. Nope, no, 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 you don't. Oh dear. Ah! 
Stop it! Hmm? There we go, come on! There we go! Oh, now what? <laughs> it was a nightmare? The morning breaks. John, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I will always love you back, Karen. My wife left me? Anyway. Uh, hmm. I'm not going in there. Aw, oh, but I want to go in there. What's this? John, we don't have much time. The profane Sabbath is almost upon us. If they find me and Jason, they will perform a ritual to call them forth a demon of unspeakable power. The name of the demon is Malthus. I am in the process of discovering their whereabouts. I will contact you again soon. We must not let them do to the boys what they did to Amy, Father Garcia. My nightmares are getting worse. Ever since I left that house, I am haunted by visions of demons. I finished my work with Amy, but now the boys are in danger. This time I must not fail. Malfas must be stopped. So that's the, the big baddie. Sabbath closer, the workers of darkness grow stronger. This will be my greatest test of faith yet. God have mercy on my soul. Go forth with faith. Well. That was definitely an insane thing. Coming soon, coming soon, and begin. So Malthus is the big baddie in regards to this whole endeavor. Well, I'll be damned. I will be damned. I seriously do cannot wait for chapter 3 then, and apparently it's supposed to be coming out extremely soon-ish. Who knows? Maybe when chapter 3 comes out, I'll tackle on the rest of the uh, endings. Though, for now, I think this is a good place to stop with all that we've done. Thank you for stopping on by. Glad to actually have checked out this game here. I could see how some people would actually be like hell of afraid of it, but... I don't know, I mean, like I said, horror wasn't really my massive genre, but it is nice to try something new for a change. So thank you for all those who have stopped on by. I will see you all again another time in another stream. Mm -hmm.